now remove this default page so i remove this default page and now you have to add add new item master page you have to add master page so please wait until dialog box um, load now you have to select master page add now in this master page remove this all line so i remove this all line but never remove this first line now i want to apply this is the template folder so first of all i want to show now this is the design so first of all we check the design now this is the design so i want to apply in asp.net so first of all open this folder this is not important for us so i delete this file this three file is most important for us so i copy this file and paste it into our folder so i paste over here now open this index.html file copy all control a control c and paste it on here master page now in design you can see this template is available here but what happened this menu is going to this menu is going to down but don't worry don't think about that because the current resolution and runtime resolution are different so don't worry now you have to see let which part is your content area means this part is content area because uh, in home page this content change in about us page this content change in registration page this content change menu header and footer remain same so this is your content area so select this content area code and select in this content area code and remove this content area code make blend now i select this and i am going in source and delete this file now currently you are at this place so h1 is not useful for us so in content area part you have to you have to add one content placeholder so i add here content placeholder i have to pass here id c1 and run at is equal to server now in design view i can see here the content placeholder is over here now i add one asp.net page add new item web form default.asps now select master page add and click on master page add in this design you can see this only content placeholder is active this all part are disable so i can write over here this is uh, default page first of all we run this default page
first of all it compiles all the code it takes few seconds to load wait until the browser is loaded it takes some time to load when you are uh, run first time your website now you can see this in this default.asp space i get this design and i already told you that don't worry about this in design now i want to change here i want to write over here home page then now here you can not change so you have to go on master page select this part go on source and write over here home page now you can run now you can see here i can get here home page the this way you can change this all the menus thank you